Hello Cancer and welcome to your October monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're safe and doing good wherever you are in the world. So Cancer, we're going to dive right in today. As always, I'm going to start by picking the general energy of this month for you. Cancer. This one wants to come out. Is there another card wanting to come through for Cancer? October 2022, general energy. Okay, let's see what we have here. The strength card and the eight of wands. So we have double eight energy. So right off the bat, double numbers. I love that. Number eight is probably the luckiest number in numerology, in my opinion. It's highly connected to the infinity loop symbol, okay? Infinite possibility in a situation. The strength card is Leo energy. We're talking about the heart. And with extreme fire energy with these two cards, I feel like your heart is definitely guiding you towards something. There will be, in the month of October, a conversation that could change everything for you. So either you're waiting uh, for some type of answer. It can be in love, but it can be about anything that is focused on your heart. Okay, so heart chakra is activated big time in October for you. Fast movement, a lot of change. And you are definitely in the middle, I feel, of a transformation journey, okay? This is really powerful. Again, extreme fire energy, and you are a water sign cancer. So this can be a little bit out of your comfort zone, but it will create some type of magic in your life. A lot of inspiration, a lot of power, again, around your heart chakra. Let's see what this is all about for cancer a heart heartfelt conversations that are going to be at the center of this month for you so getting a lot of clarity you know this energy is highly connected to the sun card so to me this is a lot about getting the answers you need oh yeah justice right off the bat okay so we are in libra season this is a libra card of course so justice is knowing in your heart that what is meant for you is coming. Your heart is in the right place and you have good intentions with the things that you do. I feel like everything is rooted in love this month for you. It feels really, really good. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't stop smiling right now. I don't know why I'm so excited, but nine of pentacles okay so again we're talking about venus and virgo here so a lot of venus energy heart energy the nine of pentacles is knowing that you can do it you have the answers within you you have the resources maybe there you know there's been a little blockage recently you not being able to see that to truly feel that in the month of october there's this realization i've worked really hard for what i have and giving that credit to yourself because the nine of pentacle is not something that is magical really it's not something that just happens by surprise it's the work that you did this is such a powerful energy it's really connected to abundance and knowing that we are abundant we have all the resources we need to get even more abundance and it's it's an independent energy it's not about a solitary energy or it doesn't mean at all that you're going to be single that you're single or going to stay single it's not that it's really about your independence so I know that your decisions this month, again, are rooted in the heart. It's in the right place. And it feels like you're making some type of important decision when it comes to your money, your stability, your body, everything that is like in the earth energy. Again, it's not about water. It feels like you're finding balance in all others area of your life. I like that. 
I like that. Possibility for more abundance. Possibility for an exchange of love, of energy. We have the moon and the king of swords that came in the reverse. So there's still a lot of things that are left in the unknown this month for you. Meaning that I, I feel like you are definitely looking for some type of answers. It could be because you are kind of in the dark about a specific connection, romantic or not. It could be about family, romance, friendship, even work for some of you. With the King of Swords in a reverse, there could be someone that wants to apologize you could have feelings that someone lied to you. I don't know if that's the truth, but you're definitely going to get clarity around that. Um, you're definitely rooted in what's here, what's present, you know? Um, riding the wave of uncertainty with the moon, definitely. There's something important here. But King of Swords in a reverse, I'm going to have to clarify that because I want to know more. The justice is in the upright. But the King of Sword is in the reverse. There's some type of realization, again, around your independence. As long as it's coming from the heart. Because there could be some feelings of, I can't trust anyone. I can't depend on anyone. I feel like uh, things are unfair in my relationship. There's, there's something that can feel or seem unbalanced to you. And I think that you're definitely going to be communicating that. Okay. So the way you speak, the way you uh, are willing to be vulnerable and open in your relationship. I think this is like your superpower this month. Again, how can you... Every time you make a decision, every time you are anxious or not sure about something, you know, questioning yourself, questioning another person's intention, try to check in with yourself. Literally visualize your heart in your chest and ask yourself the good questions. Why am I reacting that way? Am I being too hard on myself? Am I being too hard on this person? Um, the strength card is here again. I'm hearing self-control. So this is something that you're working on right now. It could be you working on how you receive information, how emotional you can get when you are fighting with someone or when you feel like you're not seen or heard in a relationship. I'm going to be honest, this month is a lot about healing your connection with people. You're evolving in the way that you are in partnership, in friendship, um, with your relationship with others. It's evolving and it's really beautiful. Again, you're still kind of in the middle of this transformation. Um, but things are going to be moving forward, definitely. You're going to be noticing how your wisdom shines through. This is profound. This is... You know, something that's happening within you, which is really, really personal to you, really close to your heart. Again, this is no coincidence. Triple eight, eight is definitely your angel number this month. Um, if you know me a little bit, you know how much I love angel numbers. I feel like they are one of the best ways to notice that our guides and our angels are trying to communicate with us. So notice the number eight, the infinity loop symbol. How is it coming through for you? What does it mean? Uh, journal about it, re make research around this. And again, notice when it comes through for you. Three of Wands, learning as you go, taking a leap of faith. To me in the tarot, the fool is not about the leap of faith. And I know this is like the traditional quote unquote meaning of this card. I never felt like it was a leap. I feel like the three of wands is the official leap. It can be scary to say yes to yourself, to say yes to a situation, to really open your heart to trusting other people, trusting that, again, you have all the resources to get abundance. 
be honest, okay? What I'm feeling intuitively here, Cancer, is that you don't know where to focus your energy. I feel this is something that's coming up really strongly. Like, I don't know where to focus my energy because that relationship is stressing me out and I need answers around this person and there's this and that. I know I have the answers within me. I know my heart is in the right place, but I don't know where to focus my energy. I think that this is something that has been coming up for you a lot recently. I have two cards that flew out of the deck, Ace of Swords and Queen of Swords. How interesting. Justice, Ace of Sword, Queen of Sword. Look at that. All hands holding swords. You have the truth within you. The King of Sword is in the reverse. For some reason, I feel like this is another person. The things that this person said to you, it's not your truth and you're not making it your truth. I think that you're disconnecting from a person that hasn't been nice to you. Literally, I'm going to put it that way. Someone who has been making you feel that you need them to succeed. You need them to be complete, to be whole, which is bullshit. You are stepping into your power and living by your truth in the month of October, which is nothing that is small. You know, this is big, big change. So... I like that. There's definitely something about a hand holding a sword. You could be noticing that this month. You could be noticing, you know, if you do tarot for yourself, that those types of symbol are coming up a lot. There's definitely something about that. I think that it, it speaks of the power of your mind and how strong you are mentally. Your wisdom um, taking control of your minds and not letting your thoughts get in the way so much of taking a leap of fate, saying yes to yourself, listening to the heart. I really, really like that. I really, really like that for you. A lot of wisdom here. I don't know what you've been doing, but there's something that you've been changing in your routine. This month is a lot, you know, Libra season is a lot about learning to not be caught up in negative self-talk. And we do that all the time, you know. It takes so much practice to be able to tell our brain to shut up once in a while. I think that you're doing that beautifully. And this month, there's a lot of lessons coming up around that. Noticing when you are talking in a negative way to yourself. Um, when you are bringing yourself down, when you are not able to give yourself the credit that you deserve. Nine of Pentacles is definitely an important supportive energy for you. Remember, you have everything you need to find abundance, to find even more abundance that you already have. And abundance is not only about material cancer, it's it's in everything. And for some reason, again, your perspective is changing so much. And you're so focused on the heart and how things feel that you're able to see that. You're able to see the beauty in the little things. And I like that. I really like that. Also, highly, highly intuitive this month. You know, everyone is intuitive. But intuitive is a spiral. It comes and goes. It's like everything. It comes in waves. So sometimes we feel like we're blocked. We feel like spirit is not hearing us. Like other people are so much more intuitive than we are. And we will never get there. You know, a lot of things that the brain, the ego is telling us around intuition. This month, be aware of your dreams. Be aware of repetitive numbers, symbols, weird things that you're seeing that kind of spark something in you, your intuition is on point. Your guides are trying to tell you something. And again, it's all coming back to your center. It's a message around your independence. Maybe you have, and I'm not pointing anyone out. We know we're just all human beings here, <laughs> but... 
Maybe you've been giving too much of yourself away in relationship. I feel like with that reading, there's something about making your identity about another person. And that's not the truth. You are reclaiming your power. And I think that the hand with the sword represents that a lot. We have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, again, how is your mind controlling you? And another eight, I just noticed. One, two, three, four eights already, and we didn't even clarify. So again, number eight, it will come up for you a lot this month. Notice around what is it coming up. Eight of sword, you're free to go. And that's coming up really strongly right now. You're free to go. And that could be in any relationship. It could be at work. Um, if you need to pause and distance yourself from someone to remember who you are as an individual, to claim your independence, reclaim your independence in some way. It's important that you listen to, again, what your heart is telling you around that. You are in such a powerful time of transformation that not everyone is going to be in alignment with that. Not everyone around you is going to understand that and support you. Not everyone is open to listen, to see you and hear you. You're going to have to give that to yourself before anything. So again, I'm not pointing fingers here. I'm definitely here to support you. Um, you are whole, you are complete. And your identity, again, this month, there's so much clarity around who am I, which is of course a fundamental, a fundamental, fundamental, sorry question and a lot of clarity around that i am not simply this person's partner i'm not simply this person's ex this person's daughter son you know whatever it is who am i finding the answers within you if you've been looking for answers in other people if you've been trying to make sense of why other people do that and why they say that and why they treat you that way, you might never get the answer because there's something much more important that you need to figure out and it's all about you. And that's what's going to be happening in October. Remember October and November, the veil is so thin. This is where we can communicate with spirit. We can get in tune, in touch with our intuition in ways that is even more potent than, than usual. So... I like that. Reclaiming your power, your individuality, your independence, all really, really strong theme this month. I want to tell you, if you feel called to, come back to this reading at the end of the month and try to see how did this uh, reflect in your month? I do that all the time. If I connect with a tarot reading, I listen to it when it comes out. And then I come back when the month is over to listen. And then I journal and I try to associate things. There's always going to be a message for you in any reading. It doesn't even have to be a cancer reading. There's always going to be a message for you. It's just I feel giving yourself time to reflect, to experience things, and sometimes come back to the reading. But again, themes this month, reclaiming your independence. That doesn't mean that you have to be single, that you are alone. It's not about that. If the word independent, you know, individuality makes you feel uncomfortable, again, a lot of questions around that. Ask yourself the good questions, Cancer. Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Freaking Wands, guys. The Eights are not going to stop coming out. I have goosebumps looking at this card. This is crazy. So your two cards of general energy came back. They both came back. Eight of Wands, Strain card, 
really important cards for you. Um, so communication. I have the two of wands here. I feel like it's communication around a blockage that you have with another person. It can be someone who's younger than you. It can be an earth sign. It doesn't have to. It can be anyone. With the page of pentacles, this, I feel, is giving yourself the chance to learn more about yourself, learn more about the other person. You think you know it all in that relationship. You don't. There's a lot of things left unsaid, a lot of things that are unclear in the unknown. This month is going to be all about <sighs> all connections, the one with yourself and with other people. The work you do with yourself, reclaiming your independence, your individuality in the work you do with other people, I feel is to being able to listen, hear them without taking things too personal. This is a huge challenge and huge lessons that's going to be coming up for you this month. Listening to the people you love. Maybe people that you don't love so much right now because you're either fighting with them, not communicating with them, feeling uncomfortable with their energy. There's something about you listening. And they're going to give that back. It's going to be an equal exchange. But it's important, I feel, that you get into that mentality of, I don't know it all. I don't know everything and letting your perspective change and evolve around your relationship as you are evolving yourself, Cancer. So the, per the perception you have around a relationship about a person, even if they hurt you in the past, even if you are not in alignment with their energy, I think it's important that you have this quote-unquote student mentality with the Page of Pentacles. I am receiving what you have to say. I am not going to be judgmental about it and I am going to take I'm not going to take it personally what you have to say. People sometimes they have a lot to say and it's not about you. So there's something really powerful about that. Being so grounded and secure with yourself, Cancer, that you're able to listen to the people around you in a better way, in a healthier way, and not take things too personally. This could have been a huge struggle for you, not just as a water sign and a cancer, as a, just a human being, someone who's trying to navigate life, you know, learning about themselves, you know, having better relationship. There's a lot around that. Again, I said it first thing I said when I started the reading, meaningful, heartfelt conversation. And it's not just about someone bringing you messages and clarity. It's about you being able to receive what they have to say. Again, important message here. And I, I really, really want to be clear about the fact that all the feelings you're experiencing during a reading are all valid, okay? Um... You could be pissed off, you could be triggered, you could be offended, but good. As long as it sparks something in you, any type of feeling, because I know my intentions are pure. So I am bringing the message and it doesn't belong to me anymore. It's not about me. It's about how you receive it. Because I know my intentions are pure. You understand that is exactly what's happening with you this month. I like that. I'm really, really inspired by your reading, Cancer. By the way, I'm just, you know, putting it out there. Uh, if you're still watching, uh, <laughs> definitely you, you connect with the reading in some way. I just found out that I have, you know, a couple important placement in Cancer. I never knew that before. So I did a lot of research this month about that, about my Cancerian placement. And Everything makes so much sense and I feel like I'm more connected to your energy and I understand so much more things about myself 
Um, anyway, I'll share more of that eventually, maybe in a video about astrology. I don't know. I'm slowly but surely getting more into astrology. Cancer. I feel you. This month, I've been channeling my inner cancer. We have the star. Okay, so hope. This is the deepest healing card in the tarot. Like I said, this is no joke. The healing and the energies that you are going through right now, again, you being at the center of this transformation, it's life-changing. It's going to bring so much hope for your future because it's not going to be so painful to love. It's not going to be so uncomfortable to receive love. And it's going to be so much easier to trust others, but also to trust yourself in relationship. Trust that. Trust your wisdom, you know, trusting your heart, knowing that your intentions are pure. Um, your heart is in the right place again. There's a lot of trust when it comes to yourself, but that's impacting all the relationship, all the areas in your life. I like that. Trusting yourself. Trusting that you have whatever it takes to achieve abundance, to, again, move on with your life, whatever that means for you. If there's some specific things that you've been hoping for, wishing for, this month is you preparing for that. That's why you are in eight energy. You're not completely ready right now to release and to step in this new beginning. There's still a lot you need to learn about yourself and about the way you are in a relationship. Give, receive energy. The infinity loop number eight is a lot about that. You know, everything we give, it comes back to us. So again, almost ready to take that leap of faith, start something new, a huge change uh, of scenery it can be work where you live for some of you relationship. I feel like 2023 is going to be the year of the new beginning for you. And you know what, Cancer? In tarot, 2023 is the chariots year, which is your card. Next year is going to be your year. I can promise you that. Okay. Two cards. What is the King of Swords in the reverse? I want to know about the King of Swords in the reverse. Judgment. Oh, okay. So definitely connected to the negative self-talk energy that I've been talking about, having more awareness around that. I just said two seconds ago, 2023 is going to be a huge change of direction for you. This is how I call this card. In my personal practice, the judgment card is a change of direction, a change of scenery. It's the moment where you're like, this is it. I am saying yes to myself. I'm taking a chance on myself. I am embracing change. That's what you're doing right now. You are embracing change that are happening within you slowly but surely. And when the new year starts, you're going to feel like you want to start fresh on every level in every area of your life. Um, so, yeah, judgment again. It's a lot about judgment, literally how you judge yourself and how you judge other people, which I feel was one of the most important message in that reading. The fact that. Even if you're pissed off at someone, if you have a preconceived idea of a person, you have to let go of that to receive what they have to say, what they will bring forward, okay? Important. So don't have preconceived ideas. Let go of all judgment just for a second. Trust your intuition. We have also the King of Cups that fell out of the deck with the high priestess. Um, spiritually connecting to people. 
There could be uh, either a partner, another water sign that you feel highly, highly connected with, connected with, sorry, a relationship that is equal, give and take, and everything that you're learning, again, about yourself and how you communicate, love, receive, give information, um, it's going to change this relationship forever. And you are setting the tone for a future full of abundance, full of love. And it's one thing to be abundant and to have love. But to truly enjoy it, see it, and embrace all of that, it's another level. And I think this is where you are right now, Cancer. Your life will change, but the change right now is happening within you. It's important. Don't seek instant gratification right now. It's it's not a time to do that. It's not a time to overspend, you know, to want to buy a lot of things, want to feel better by buying expensive things. This is definitely a good time to not be online too much, not be on social media too much, respecting your energy and making sure that you do everything you can to quiet the mind a little bit and hear the quiet voice of the intuition. Uh, so getting off social media could be that for you. Reconnecting with nature. Uh, and again, the people who are going to come forward and talk to you, talk with you, whatever it is, try to open your heart around that. Beautiful, beautiful reading. It's not going to be for everyone. I know that the people who need to hear this message are going to find it. And that brings me so much freaking peace and happiness. Okay, Cancer, let's pick an oracle card for you. What does the moon have to say to Cancer? What messages does the moon have for Cancer? A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. A lot of Libra energy came through in your reading. Again, this is so beautiful. Of course, highly connected to the justice card. This sums up everything I just said in that reading. It's not only about giving, receiving. It's that openness to do so. And there's just so much beauty in that. Receiving abundance, love, energy, and being open to receiving it in ways that feels healthy, balanced, just incredibly powerful. You are much more intuitive and powerful than you know, okay? Thank you so much for being here, Cancer. I'm sending a huge virtual <laughs> consent hug. I hope that this message did something for you. I hope that if you've been seeking some type of clear answer or maybe obsessing about a specific thing, let that go. This is definitely the best advice I can give you, okay? Know that I come from a place of love. Always I want to support you and empower you. And I hope that I, I did that a little bit for you today. Thank you so much, Cancer.